Hi, welcome to Bearded Meeple. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I spent most of my high school years playing Euchre. It's just what we did. Today, we're going to take a look at a card game for two to four players, ages 10 plus, and it'll play in about 30 minutes. It's a nice spin on Bid Euchre, and it's got amazing artwork. It's published by Pendlehaven. It's Fate of the Norns, Gullveg. Let's take a look at it. There are four different decks in the game, each card having unique art. We are, however, also showing the Dwarven Kingdom expansion. In the upper left, the cards are numbered 1 through 7 to show their strength. The number in the upper right is their value. Some cards, when combined with others, will give you an increased point value, such as Loki, combined with the spear, has a value of 60 and there are cards with alternate versions that you can use in the game. Gameplay is similar to Euchre. One of the suits will become Trump. Players must follow suit when cards are laid. Highest value will win. Each player is dealt eight cards. Three cards are placed in the kitty. The remaining cards are set aside. Players will get an opportunity to bid on the extra cards adding them to their hand and selecting three cards to go in their winning pile. The thing is, bids start at 50 and increase by increments of 10 or more. If you win the bid, you must at least hit that value in your final score. If you don't, points will count against you. As I won the bid, I take the three cards and adjust my hand discarding three to my winnings pile. I have the lead. I can present a supremacy, two of the cards that work in tandem together, to be trump. I would also immediately score their total point value. I must play one of the cards. My opponents have to follow suit. If they can't, the cards they play have a strength of zero and I'd immediately win because I have trump. If they play trump, highest value would win. They play a blue one and a red five. Blue is trump, I have the highest value, so I take the trick and all the cards go into my winnings pile. Blue is still trump, unless another player on their turn presented another supremacy and altered what trump was for the round. At the end of the round, players will add up their winning piles based on the point values. As well, they will score any supremacies they may have presented during the round. But remember, as I won the bid, I have to hit that bid level, otherwise points can count against me. At the beginning of the game, you would set a certain point value to reach. 500 points, 1000 points, or more. First player to hit that will win. And that, my friends, is Fate of the Norns, Gullvig. A couple things I'd like to say. I thought the artwork was astounding. I really liked the style it was done in. The gameplay came very easy because I love Euchre. You have your trump, you have your trick-taking. But the other aspect of the game, the bidding, well, I like that too. Because you might just want to gain access to those three cards. They could potentially really help your hand. However, make sure you hit that bid amount, because otherwise, you're going to take that as negative points. I enjoyed it. I do hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.